uh, he had stopped speaking. So when I would visit him at the assisted living facility, you know, there wasn't, obviously we weren't talking much. So this time I decided to bring the movie Casablanca. And after Sam sings time, as time goes by, my dad looked over at me and he looked me right in the eye and he said, I love you. And like I said, I hadn't heard him speak in so long. And he held my hand and he kept looking at me and then he looked away and he was gone again. But it's just my wonderful memory of him and that he was still there even though this disease had robbed him of so much. It moves very quickly. Within nine years, we pretty much lost the person, yet the body exists, but you see a disconnect between the mind and uh, being present. My father and I believe that the person is still in there. They just can't get it out. And I think that's the biggest challenge for a caregiver is to maintain um, care and, and, and health without losing their own mind and losing their own energy and patience. As a family member and a caregiver, it's hard to see a family member affected by these diseases and what they do. And it's definitely a sense of loss from my grandfather and uh, you can see the toll that it takes on him. It's hard to see someone who was so brilliant and beautiful and smart um, not be yourself anymore. I talk about her like she's in past tense. She's at a memory care facility now and she has very little, very few cognitive skills. Um, and it's the nature of who she is now. She is not who she was. Um, and I can't bring any part of that, of her back. It sort of takes your breath away initially. The neuropsychologist suggested that we go to Ross camp. And he said, see Dr. Keegan. So I got on the phone immediately and made an appointment, which was really one of the smartest things I've ever done. I was impressed the minute I got in there and how my wife was handled. It wasn't like she was sick. <laughs> it was just someone there to check her out and see how she was. And once we turned to Ross Camp, I felt like I had found someone that was gonna be a partner with me and try to help me through the disease and see what we could do. And I think they bring everyone together to say, hey, you're not alone. I know what you're going through. It's extreme, it is painful, it's uncomfortable, but together, uh, raising money and awareness gives us purpose that at some point in the future, we are going to be able to find a cure. I mean, how amazing that we have an institute in our backyard um, that's working to find a cure. Um, and in the meantime, the workshops that they offer, the support that they offer our local community, is huge. The one thing that sets the Ross Camp Institute apart with their research is that they're focusing on treatment for these neurological disorders, for Alzheimer's, for Parkinson's, for PTSD, um, to make these people who suffer from these diseases' lives better. I see possibilities because the Ross Camp Institute is doing such great work. They're gonna come up with something. They're gonna, they're gonna make it so that it doesn't have to be the end and be such a horrible, a horrible way to go. What I like the most about Ross Camp Institute is their lofty goals to cure Alzheimer's and other neurological diseases. Ross Camp really gives you hope. You feel like they're working on the issue that is affecting your life on a daily basis and they're giving you hope that maybe there'll be some cure or something that can help prolong your husband's life just to push it back two years, three years, when I think of my own life, my own situation, if I had two or three more years, as a couple, that would have been a lot. The Roskamp Institute means discovery and breakthroughs for people who need it. So whatever I can do to support the Roskamp, I want to do that. You know, not only for my husband, but for my kids, my grandkids, and for other people. To me, the best part about Roskamp is the scientists, the um, cutting edge research that's going on. I mean, we're in Sarasota and we have 
you know, just uh, the, the magnitude of what they're doing right here is amazing. I'm a huge fan. I, I, I wave the banner. I just think we need to have more people know about it and support it with their mouth and with their wallet. For our community, I think this is a great opportunity for us to make an impact um, around the world, um, to give our time, talent, and energy to an institute that's gonna affect the lives of so many people. That's a rare opportunity. I support the Ross Camp Institute because I am hoping for a cure for Alzheimer's dementia. Oh, my strongest hope is that we find a cure for this disease. I, you know, I pray for the day that there is a cure. We are close to finding a cure. And if we continue on staying together and spreading the word, I think we're, we're really close. Please join me in supporting the Ross Camp Institute. Please join me. Join me. Join me. Join me. Please join me in supporting the Ross Camp Institute.